I don't know if you heard this, but the other day on the radio or in a broadcast, I read it, so I don't quite, I don't, so I don't know where it originated from. Um, and I can't remember the name of the guy in government that said it, but and I'll, I'll look it up in a second. When asked about strike action, what would happen if nurses, when nurses go on strike? So it's not if it's when, it's before Christmas, I think it's going to happen. Yeah. He made it sound like it's not going to be a problem. So we've, you know, kind of like, oh, it's something like along the lines, I'll paraphrase, we've rehearsed this, it's going to all operate. Oh, like, I saw well, that. We have a contingency plan. What the fuck does he mean? What <laughs> contingency plan? Who? Are you going to go and step in? You're, you're, you still you're an MC pin, haven't you, Nikki? Yes, that's Did I tell you? Did I tell you that's what I'm I mean, doing? Are they gonna, it's like the the, the code. Are they going to get COVID cover for it? You know, all the people that I don't, what? what and it? I cannot tell you how many people would have been annoyed and upset by that because if there was a contingency plan be supposedly it. in place, why they haven't they been using that with all the well, shortages? Okay. I can't remember. I mean, let's look it up. I'll look it up in a minute. So I wonder what the contingency plan is and when they when they um, intend to activate it for the 47,000 unfilled nursing vacancies. So, Let's so get that contingency invited. plan going. Yeah. <laughs> it's Just so, trying to it's lay so general good. public spheres on they, what's they, about. It's so demeaning, isn't it? Yes. And these yeah. are the people that are going to have to sit on the other side of the table with the with RCN, with Pat Cullen, intelligent people who are looking after their nurses. And these government officials can have to sit around the table and try and come up with something that is reasonable when they're starting from such an unreasonable, un unreasonable and irrational position as saying it's all going to operate like a well-oiled machine. Well, without a shadow it's, of it's a doubt. Not, it's, I mean, I hate to tell, tell this person, but it's already not operating like a well-oiled machine. <laughs> so before they get to the table, this is what I feel should happen. Even before they get anywhere near that table, they should be donning some scrubs and doing right. a couple of 12 hour shifts okay. with some nurses. Yeah. Um, just shadowing, just mm -hmm. literally walking around with them for a couple of days and then yeah. they can come to the table yeah. and then let's see what they have to say. Because that's, cr that's critical, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, you know, people, moving all these incredibly important things without having a scooby-doo as to the impact that has on everyday yeah. people yeah. you go and you go and do the meds round in a in an uh unstaffed um mental health hospital give that a go mm. all the other things you've got to be doing mm. it's so right. patronizing isn't it yes so patronizing so yes that would most definitely have Oh, it's like it's just like rubbing salt into the wound the yeah. whole time. Let's, um, uh, let's name and shame. So I'm just going to. Um, yes, I read it as well, and I don't remember his name. I think it was uh, in well oiled machine. It is. It's a government minister, isn't it? It was. Yeah. Um, the government has said it has contingency plans for dealing with a strike by nurses. It's a shame they don't have contingency plans for the staffing crisis. That's exactly what I just said. Yeah. Um, Cabinet Officer Minister Oliver Dowden said that in the event of strikes, the NHS would prioritise the most essential services. We have well-oiled contingencies in place. I mean, it's it's probably bollocks. Is yeah. what, like they probably don't have well-oiled contingencies. They probably don't even have um, cranky, unoiled contingencies in place. Yeah. Oh, the only oh. contingencies that they'll have are the two that you've mentioned already. Uh, that will be our colleagues, our lovely colleagues, our international colleagues that have come across to this country to help us and also agency nursing. And there's nothing wrong with either of those two sectors. But as we've discussed, it's cost so much money and all that money could have been used in the first place to give yeah. nurses the pay yeah. rate rise as they needed. Yeah. So I, I'm assuming that those are his contingency plans I, because I there is think, nothing else. I, I don't think temp nurses will break break the strike. They won't go in to break the strike, will they? I don't think. So how do you mean when you say break the strike? Um, will the, will a temp nurse go in to replace a striking nurse? I've got. I don't think that. Do you know what I mean? You remember, I mean, I was young when it was happening, the miners' strikes, you know, they, 
it was important that others didn't go in, I think, to replace those that were on strike? Um, I don't know the answer to that question. My gut feeling is yes, they probably will if they are incentivized with even more cash as an agency nurse. Hmm. Watch this space, I suppose. Mm. 